Hello my Asgardian Minecrafters and welcome back to another episode of Building with Thor and today we are going to be learning how to build this rather fancy looking Greek house. Would look good in any uh, ancient Greek or like new sort of Greek uh, builds, towns and it's also good in any sort of Mediterranean so you could chuck it in with yeah, well, maybe not Italian build. You could make this out of sandstone, and that is certainly a possibility. But yes, this is it. Let's learn how to build it and go into a test world this very minute. Well, here we are on said test world. You'll notice the first thing is we're in the default texture pack, so everybody knows exactly what blocks we're using. And everything else you can pretty much see here. Those are just normal leaves. You can use any kind you like. Um, Bone blocks as well, they're a new block as of this video, but you can see carpets and banners there, everything else, everybody knows. So let's get this uh, party started with a quartz chiseled blocks. One, two, three, four, five of them across the front, in fact. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's how far we're going back, and we're going to make that match up with the front there. So five across in total. Come out diagonally by one here. Then go one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's it. I was going to count on more there. Go into a counting groove. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's there. And then we'll come across here by two and make it all match up. That's the basic footprint of the house. Feel free to pause it here and we'll carry on. Pretty much all you want to do now is add three blocks onto every block going around here. Uh, so one, two, three. Oh, you can just about get this up. One, two, three. Yeah, there we are. We need to go all the way around adding three. Apart from, and I just say it now, you want to put chiseled quartz blocks. You want to put three of them there. Everywhere else is going to be three normal quartz blocks. If I can get this sorted. Now we're going to take the uh, chiseled blocks again. And we're going to take one around all the way around the top here. Like a so, pretty easy stuff, standard stuff. In fact, we're about done. Excellent. And we're going to want to take up some pillars along this side and around the side also. So let's take some pillar blocks. One, two, three, four. And we'll do that with a two gap. You can see that we've come out two from here. Left a two gap here, two gap there. Up by four. We'll turn it round and we'll go up by one, two, three, four. Then we'll go one, two, three, four here, and we'll have one last one here, one, two, three, four, and that's all of the pillars. On top of them, you might just want to, in fact, do this. Do this! It's a thing that you need to do. Put a, <laughs> put a chisel block on the top, and you're going to be absolutely golden. Lovely. Next step. So for now, all we're really going to do is cut out the uh, windows for the bottom floor here and the door. So we've got the door, and that's going to be three high. We're going to have a two high window here, and in this corner here that's why we left this little bit here i thought it looked nicer with the with the bricky stuff in the flows hd texture pack the flows hd texture pack by the way is what i think this looks best in so use that in your worlds but you've got a two window here right up against that side and then one against uh, one away from that side we've got two gap there lining up perfectly with the gaps for these two uh pillars which is perfect and then Underneath here, we're going to have some upside down stairs. Uh, we won't have it on that one. I don't think we have it on that one. We come around here. There's one on there too. We have some here, 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 and around the corner here. And then on top of every place that you've put them so far, put another two. So that's, that's pretty easy stuff again. We're not going to bother with the windows on the backs and sides at the moment because those can change drastically depending on how you want to kit out the inside so just don't worry about them for now in fact why don't we finish off this little level now with a not there thank you very much we'll go across here and now we've got like a little platform here too lovely stuff let's move on to the next actually no just so that everybody's up to date let's pick up one of these cobblestones here and that can be for the front door and then you might as well because we've got a downstairs now just replace everything with oak okay nice stuff we've got in a floor here and i might as well have said it before but we need a floor in at this level as well you can use the full blocks for this 
particular flooring, which is nice, not having to use the uh, half a slabs. But uh, get this in as well, all the way around at this uh, level. In fact, we can do this together, can't we? And then move on to the next stage, because if you're doing this in... Uh, if you're doing this in survival, then now you can't get to the top there, can you? You can't carry on your building process. So we're going to come round to this side here. We're going to go level with this a pillar. And then we're going to go and take up a staircase here. Oh, wow, look at that. I've got the old jumping, auto jumping on because this is a new world. Excellent. That's just exactly what I didn't need in the world right now. And we're going to put in some oh, normal... There we go, normal cobblestone here, and that's where our door is going to be to go up. But now you've got a way up, and it makes it so much more survival friendly. Apart from some finishy off bits down the bottom, we're pretty much done there. So let's start up on the second floor. Right, what we're going to make here is a 3x3 three three sliding door. I've got a video on that, by the way. Check it out! It's really handy, and we're going to want to go all the way around now. Again, we'll be cutting out windows at another time, but we want to go all the way around to here, and like a soul. So let's go all the way around. And that's four high, you can see are there. And then around here, we're going to want to go uh, there, 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 and take all of this round as well like so and that's going to go up by three and then around the top of this part of uh, the building we're going to want to put chiseled above that and that's going to go all the way around uh, here so let's finish that off we might as well do that all uh, together both of us at the same time there we go and then pull around the so, pillar Chiseled. Thank you very much. There we go. And we're going to want to cut out a door here. And we're going to do a window. We'll do it close to this side there. So yeah, we've got a window and we've got a door. In fact, the door's going to be three high. And that's a lovely. In fact, around here as well, we know that we've got a door there. And that's going to be three high all sure. And on top of here, we're going to put in round here a three a three yeah we're exactly on the so we've got three high room and then a half slab on top of that and just to finish it off we're going to take this across here so now you can see the shape that we've got we've got basically this uh, this section over here goes back by two and then to the end and that goes up flush and then this bit here Everything that's left just kind of adjoins to this here. Let's swap that out, actually. Don't listen to me. We need a normal block there. So, again, feel free to pause, go back, but I don't think you'll need to. All pretty, pretty easy stuff so far. In fact, let's carry on. No, 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 let's, let's not carry on. I'm going to grab a couple of bits and we'll start putting in these doors because now we're, we're done, basically, with the doors. Listen not to my ramblings. We're nowhere near doors stage yet. We need blocks of quartz on those two corners there. That's what we need. And then we're going to come around with fences like so to at least get that top bit there cordoned off. That's the, that's the correct one, isn't it? Don't ask me. I don't know. We need to go then. One, two... Three, four, crying out loud. There we go. Four. We've gone up by four there, and that's going to be the last little section here. Pull this across to the back, and then back round this way. And then all of this needs to go up by four as well, which, of course, we can do now. Oh, good criminy. There we go. Got the magic number. It is handy being able to do three blocks at a time, like this. It does save a little time. There we go. And back here, we're going to 
just put the same sort of flat roof on. This is pretty much iconic with Greek builds, but you do get it in some other Mediterranean architecture as well. So let's get outside. We can see that. Lovely. Okay, we're going to start, I think, with a little bit of the making this place look better. And again, I could do the doors. In fact, I should do the doors, but I'm not going to do the doors. Let's go round the front here. And you can see at the top level of where we've got the sliding doors, where we're going to have the sliding doors, we've got a line of buttons. Just above where the chiseled is here, we've got a line of buttons. Then down here, just below the chiseled, we've got a line of buttons. Now, do the same for that on the back side here. We remember that it's the exact top on this one. And then one above the chiseled this side. And that just helps, adds a little bit of extra interest. It will add more interest when we cut out some when we cut out some windows at the back there as well. It truly will. Let's start with these doors then. I've been harping on about them, haven't I? Let's get some glass panes. Let's get some oak fences. Let's get some doors for a start. And I think that's going to do us just fine. In fact, it is going to do us just fine. Let's put it in backwards here with stained glass above and normal stained glass in these windows. That'll be just hunky-dory, hunky-dunky. I didn't turn off that jump in either. That's really, really quite annoying. Who'd want that on all of the time? Not me, that's for certain. There you go. That's how you make a sliding door. And it looks like a sliding door too. You can see that I've just put the grey stained glass top and bottom on either side with oak fences as a nice little handle. Lovely. Nothing more to be said. Again, all our doors on the outside are going to be just this uh, basic... Now, what does this look like from the inside? Yeah, I think I've just had to make a... I've just had to make a compromise there. Let's get this door in so that it's that way around. Obviously, that's what I must have done before. And we'll go to this one. Again, we'll turn it the other way around so it goes places at the back. And then we'll get in a glass pane there. You can use, and that's why I've just got this out, the normal glass blocks here. And that will, obviously, you won't get this weird sort of slight gap. But I prefer, even though you get a tiny little gap there, look at that, annoying, you should be able to set these in the middle, then they would look uh, much better, but they would overlap into another block. I understand why not. But looking from the side, it doesn't look so bad, and it just adds a little bit more depth, which is nice. But we've got to move on now to cutting out some windows on the sides of everything. Do we? Is that what we're on to? No, we're going to finish off up here first. <laughs> Things are getting a little bit rambly all of a sudden. Let's uh, let's carry on here, get, um, get the blocks we need, and we'll move on. Now for the side. A little bit up here, the bit that you walk up to to get upstairs. Take a normal block, so you go two out on top of the pillars, uh, and put one in both of those places. Take out these two here. Uh, I know I told you to put them in there, but... <clears throat> it wasn't such a hardship to get rid of them, was it? Really? There we go. So now we've got a little bit of, uh, as you come up, it just looks nice. You've got sort of banisters. Good for immersion. Makes you feel a little bit more like you're in something. And then behind here as well, just so that we are finished up, let's put in a couple of these here. Done. And a couple of sets of... You could, you could go in here, but I like the idea that somebody could come in from this side here and that could be a walkway so but we'll do these two here and we could go around the back there but I think that somebody might use this for a bit of storage maybe so but this is all personal preference of course so that's that and then <clears throat> we're going to go inside we're going to go inside right now and we're going to make the uh, I need did I get any oh I didn't get any stairs that's, that's terrible news. Awful. Not fantastic news. Stair. Get an oak stair out. Put that. We don't need the cobble anymore. We're just going to make it so that we can get up to the top. You know, I don't have these on me either. One of these days. One of these days. 
right now we've got everything we need we're going to want to be able to get up to the top floor here now this is a bit of a tight um, tight room here let's I need one of them actually thank you very much so we'll go up here so that's going to be like a little turn and then you'll go into the main room and this is going to be the staircase right in front of you this is going to do one of those annoying things let's take a a normal block while we're in here and just come across like so that should have been done in the first place but we'll come up and we're going to have one of these annoying little jobs where the last one is not going to quite fit in now <clears throat> these blocks of quartz again we're going to put them in like so and then we're going to come across no we're going to put in stairs here that will be fine and then we're going to put in a little Thing there and we're going to turn this into like a little alcove uh, you're going to want a proper block for in there so let's let's get a proper block there we go and then if we put in stairs like now we're going to want them like this yeah now underneath here you've got stair blocks in both of those places it hasn't messed with them as you're going up here and you can put in some chests here fantastic news and they'll open just fine you come up here oh we've got nothing going on let's put in a floor and this now once we've finished this bit of floor we'll know exactly where we're putting our let's use chiseled actually because this is on the chiseled quartz sort of line that we had before excellent use just pick up one of these as well and put in a little railing before we forget now, this is great this is a lovely little bedroom up the top this is going to be perfect so now we've got basically the layout of the floors sorted let's uh, while we're at it while we're here above these buttons these buttons are good for two things one they provide somewhere that you can put one of these you couldn't just put them up against there you can hear click 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 nothing happening but if you put a button you can put in a you can put a carpet just above them. Great. They look like wonderful little awnings or little sun sun doohickeys above these ones again. I like to I think it looks best to to mostly use the oh come on now please. Come on there. Let's get them in. Let's get in the white here. I think <coughs> blue and white is obviously national colours of Greece, so that's why I'm using them here. On this here, we can use it as well. It's a, it's an even number there. Not usually very good with Minecraft builds, but I found that it just works fine with this. So, no bothers, no bothers. Uh, now let's think about putting in some. Should we just put them in evenly like that? You can you can put them in however you like. I think we will put them in evenly like that with some upside down. Um, stairs above them now we've got two windows there that we can glaze like right now if i can get that right block there we go we've got two windows up the top that's pretty much now the windows for the front and everything pretty much close for the front done as we come in though we've still got things that we notice downstairs is its own uh, like apartments so it's sort of a duplex and upstairs is the thinner bit with an upstairs there as well so two floors as you go up so the two pretty decent sizes but n not fantastically large I think though we're going to go inside now sort out where we're going to put all of our windows so I find it's best to put in your windows where that looks best from inside, where they're going to provide a little bit of light. So we'll have maybe, uh, do we want one of this back win uh, back bit of wall there? Maybe. Well, we'll definitely want um, at least one in this wall here. If we do that and then put in one here, that should be even from the outside. Yes. Nice. I've still got the jumping on. So now we've got two windows there. Last little bits of light that we're going to need. Well, this will be pretty much in the middle here. No, it won't. But it's close enough from the outside, and they don't have to be perfect. Let's um, 
we'll have one in here and I think that's the only one that we're going to be able to get in because there's no room for one over there that's fine so you can put these in these are just normal windows you don't need to do anything fancy with them just glaze them like so you can have a look from the outside it's fine fine and straight away it looks a bit more like a like a proper building doesn't it we'll come in up here then <coughs> Definitely on this side here, we're going to want something. And again, oh, I didn't glaze you. I'm sure people must have been saying something about that to themselves. Uh, back here. Probably pretty good. Yeah, it's spot on. In fact, that's nice that it's right above the other one. Let's not have this one, though, right above that one. Let's move it sideways. We'll move it along to there, and that'll be just fine. In fact, do we even want it to be full-sized? Maybe not. Maybe we'll have this one a little higher. And then that way, if we were to put in some... Um, yeah, let's do the same <coughs> on this side as well. Now that we've got that in, we can put in like a table down here. And it won't be backed straight onto a window. That'll look lovely. Let's glaze that up. Nice. We've got one here. We'll need one, at least one, on the window, uh, on the staircase. So what do we reckon? One as we're coming in, again, we'll go uh, like so. So we've got like a stair underneath it. And then let's get one in up the top here as well. Go for like that. Yeah, spot on. Spot on. Thank you very much. And then we'll put in another door. Uh, another door. Another window that looks like a door. Because it is a door. Put that in here. And this can be like a nice little terrace. Now, you can't really do too much with this here. Because you've got the slabs. Now, that's uh, obviously a shame. But you, you, there are things that you could do if you were so inclined. And we'll stick in a, a door here. What do we reckon? A window here. And we'll have that one go in from the top like that so you can have them on the tops and bottoms it doesn't matter which uh, the stairs is what I'm talking about now of course but if you have them on the top you can't do one of these jobs that's the problem so where have I got one on the top this one's on the top now that doesn't that that looks horrifying oh didn't glaze didn't glaze where didn't I glaze let's finish off glazing I am now a glazier. Lovely. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. I've got all the glazing in, haven't I? Yes. So we'll stick again on the back because the back doesn't want to be as uh, as interesting as the front. I mean, they're not in these kind of buildings. They put all of it into the front and then the back is just a slab usually. I've made them more interesting than they are in, in actuality. But yeah, there's that done. Let's do a little bit of outside stuff now. Um, let's go for andesite. And uh, have we got the polished andesite? It's right next to it. That's good news. All round here, apart from them two and them two, all of the rest of it. Oh, this jumping, though. This jumping, though. You want to get rid of it now, and we'll go one outside of the boundaries of the whole house. Uh, we, I think we can do that off camera, actually. I think it's probably best. Righty-o. Well, you can see I've actually decided to go two out on the front here, just for a little bit of extra. But first thing we're going to do is, this basically would be like taking the cobblestone out, and that would be joining whatever road system you have already. We'll do the same with this out here and as I said I, I wanted it to kind of be so this could also be a way in so that's like so and then everything else is going to be like a checkerboard pattern checkerboard drafts board actually because I live in the United Kingdom of England uh, but yes it's going to be like this checkered pattern there we go of andesite and polished andesite. I, I can't tell where that is now. Let's do a little bit of working out, actually. I think this will look fine. You could use some lighter stuff. I didn't really want to make a, a feature out of it. Let's uh, sit there, there, there. 
here, here. There you go. You can see where it should be. Uh, you could use something much lighter, but I, I think this this is fine. You don't want it to be a main feature or anything. So there, no, yes, no, yes, and that's these ones. You can go all the way around and do this yourself, though. You are clever people. Clever people watching Minecraft with Thor. We are truly on the last leg now. All we need to do here is put in like a couple of little bushes here. You could have them going up and out a little bit, however you like. Maybe it's covering up this window a little bit more than it was before. But it looks fine from the inside and it doesn't stop the light all that much. We can go around and put in another couple of bushes on the side. So if we just uh, do a little bit of this action, come in and... Do one of them, maybe, look fine, actually a little bit of that. And maybe if we come round here, we can have something underneath there. You know the kinds of places. You don't really have to stick them exactly where I'm putting them at all. And at the back here, we could have like, uh, what am I doing there? What am I doing there? Crazy stuff, it's crazy. You know, put in like a little bush, fine. You know, bushes as much as you like, wherever you like, basically. They're not going to look bad. They never do. Right, now this is a little bit of creative license, though. This is something that I decided to do. It's these are beach towels or towels, coloured towels, that people are hanging over the sides to dry. Now, from down here, they look like that. If you're above, maybe not quite so much. They're pegged up there somehow. I don't know. But I think that this really helps. Of course, I don't live in Greece. <laughs> I'm not sure if you'd noticed. But um, I don't live in Greece. So, you know, all the times that I go, or that I've been, it's been for a holiday. And this is what people do. They hang their stuff out to dry. And that's that's that. I don't think, though... I have missed out anything um, on the little features. The last thing that I think is well worth doing is taking out some of these quartz blocks and replacing them with the bone blocks. Now, if you go out and just be as random as you can, just be as random as you possibly can. Now, this is all it's going to do is make it look so that's a little bit I like them upwards not sideways all this is going to do is add little randomness to your blocks it makes it look like it's not perfect it's not a hundred percent perfect uh, rendering on the I don't know what they're made of like clay bricks stone what whatever they're made of this looks like it's just not 100% perfect and then also chuck in a couple of these chiseled and these are like little bricky blocks when you're in um, when you're in the eight flows HD texture pack which I think looks really really nice again I highly recommend it for this sort of building because you don't get these little lines around the, the quartz there we go, we've got quite a few of them knocking in, and that again just adds a little bit more interest to the build, makes you makes it look a bit more believable, and then the last little bit, and this was just because I, I think I was getting bored at the time, and I just adding too much, on this little corner here, it's had a, like a little chip come off it, there you go, look at that, but now we have a perfectly functional Greek house, nothing done on the inside though. If you wanted to see that video, you might have to ask for it. But to be fair, there, there truly isn't much you can do in this. And this video is long enough as it is. But thank you so much for watching. You know, I really appreciate the likes and the comments. If you like this video, do remember to put a like on it because it does help me out. And I like to be noticed for my efforts on the YouTube.com. Also, if you have not done so already, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, though, I'm Thor. Have a great day, guys. Well, how annoying. Just two last little things just to finish off here. Put on two upside-down stairs. Uh, 
like you've done on everywhere else there. And just above this door, in fact, if you go above and down like that, it should make a nice little arch. And then that is done. So, yes, again, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.